Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you a short but very beautiful spinning combo on a spinning pole. Alright, so we're going to start with jumping up on the pole and for that we would need to place the inside hand on the forearm. Uh, make sure that it's not on this side, not too much, so the elbow doesn't pa uh, pass the pole, but it's exactly behind the pole on your forearm. And I'm going to step, step on my inside leg and put my hand just a little bit higher so that when I jump up, I can pull with my right hand up. Now, as I step on the pole, jump, I reach with my outside hand as high as I can, baseball grip. So I would suggest to practice your jump first and repeat it a few times, it will look like this. So the moment I jump up, I press my elbow against the pole and then I reach up. So if you're just a beginner, you're too afraid to jump really high, you can place the elbow straight away and then jump up or a little bit more advanced, can put the hand a little bit higher and you can push elbow against the pole once you're up. Have a look. All right, after you practice how to jump up, let's practice the legs. And before I add any split, um, I would suggest to end up in a chair. Let me demonstrate you first. Inside leg outside leg, chair. So first I will hook my inside leg in a 90 degrees angle and be in between my thigh and like calf or shin. And my outside leg will stay at the back. Please notice it doesn't come to the front. So it's not here, it's there. Then my, I move my outside leg to the front and when it touches the pole, then I swap my legs and then my inside leg comes around and I make a chair. Slow motion is rather hard, so when you do it fast, it's much easier. So what I'm saying is that don't release this leg before the other one comes on the pole, okay? I'll demonstrate. So what not to do, don't release the legs and then put the other one. Wait until the outside leg comes and you swap and then you bring on the other side. So if I imitate it with my hands, it will be like this. So I hook my inside leg, outside, release, and then with this leg, I push my other leg to come on the side. And in order for us, like, if you just want to do the chair, the even like a small circle is okay, but if you want to come into the side split, you really need this momentum to fly on the side. So I want to suggest to practice this part first. It will look like this. Inside, outside, chair. So I hope you could notice how my inside leg also makes a circle and then pushes my body on the side. Yeah? So it's circle, circle. All right, after you practiced how to swap the legs and come into the chair, we can add a side split. Uh, before you get there, I would just suggest for you to practice it on the floor and uh, please notice what I do. So as I step with my inside leg on the floor, I turn my foot outwards, push my hips back, lean down with my head and then I kick the leg to the front. So that's approximately the same thing that we're going to imitate in the air. So have a look again, step turn. So you see my foot is now, it's going to look either on the floor, uh, on, uh, on the pole or away behind. Then very important, keep the leg straight, push the hips back, lower your head and chest, kick the leg up. Now I'll just show you the secret. If you're going to keep this leg bent, your leg is not going to come up. The moment you straighten it, you can lower your chest and lift the leg up. All right. Also, if you keep this leg to the front, it will be something like this, yeah? So you cannot, so rotate, extend both legs. And of course, the lower the, lower the head, the higher you can lift the, head, uh, the leg up. Now, a little bit faster. Hmm. And then same, I'm gonna show backwards so that you guys can repeat after me. Step, turn, 
here. So what our hands are doing, they're on the pole, remember? So my elbow is gonna stay on the pole, my other hand is up, and I kick up. So this is what we're gonna do up in the air. When you uh, swing your inside leg and you kick your outside leg out, um, you would need to press onto the, onto the pole with your forearm to push your chest away. At the same time, we would need to squeeze your side, use your obliques and uh, muscles just on the side here to lift the hips up. So can you imagine? So they go all the way from here and here you push and lift the hips up. So you need to lift it, tilt the hip to the side. I'll demonstrate. One, two, and then come back to a chair. I use this momentum to fly as high as I can, press into the elbow and tilt it, the hip up. Also, don't forget to drop your head to the side. Like this, it will be easy, of course, also to lift the hips up and it will make great illusion that the legs are higher. And also, uh, I recommend to bend the knees and open them in a straddle. Uh, it's easier and looks much better um, rather than having your legs straight. And of course, after that, you can add on so many things. Like you can do the air walk, and then you can turn around, hook your inside leg, come to the ornament, and build up your combo the way you like.